Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. We're out here fishing the salt water of Green Harbor, I believe, and we're out jigging for cod and we're running sting nose jigging spoons and flexi jigs today. And it looks like uh, I've got Antonio at the front of the boat. Lisa's with me here. And I think Lisa and I have hooked into a couple of cod. Yeah. Yours feels heavy, Lisa, or what? It feels heavy. There must have been a, a couple of them hanging out there. It's just as we drifted by. All we're doing is bouncing these. I'm bouncing the flexi jig off the bottom. And Lisa's got the sting nose on. And just jigging it off the bottom. And the cod are here. Now they don't fight a lot, but they're fun to catch and they're really tasty if you like eating fish. It's one of my favorites actually. Hey Antonio? Yeah, they're amazing. Nice white flaky meat. Oh, I can see my fish. Can you see yours? I think we need the net. Oh yeah. That looks like a good fish. We're only fishing in about 60 feet of water, so it's not really deep here. And we're not far offshore. We're maybe uh, a mile or two offshore. Oh, that's a good cod. <laughs> wow. Nice one. That's a good cod. What do I got? I got a cod in the mackerel, I think. That's right there, Lisa. And I got someone's line. Is that your line, Antonio? Probably. That's your bait. You're running for striper? <laughs> it was. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my cod. Uh, <laughs> See, it caught something. There's my cod. Yeah, you did, Antonio, but it's really wrapped up here. Uh, Does it snap? There we go. I got it out. All right. Now I got to get it off. Finally got that off. Okay. That's a nice cod too, Lisa. Oh yes. Good fish. See? Oh, that's a good heavy. God, look at yours. Yours is nice and dark brown color. Hey Lisa, mm -hmm. <laughs> how's, how's that for the start of our day? And Antonio's got a rod bent behind us here. Let's we're going to release these fish. Uh, let's put. I'll, I'll take them off, Lisa. Okay. So, oh, codish. Oh, back in it goes. Okay. Feels like a cod, Antonio. Feels and looks it. It's not very big. I can swing this one in the boat, I think. Big nose? Yeah. Yeah, it's small, but it's still a cod. Sting nose smelt. Yeah, the two, the two and three quarter ounce. There you go, Lisa. Oh, yeah. These are really nice fish. Ooh, looks like he got. Something bitten. maybe bit him? Maybe that was a line? Mm, I don't know. Beautiful cod, though. Okay. We just stopped the motor. Uh, I didn't get my line in yet. <laughs> I dropped it down. He was on it right away. <laughs> it's crazy. It doesn't feel huge, but it feels cottish. <laughs> we got. Oh yeah. You know what? It's not a cod. What is it? It's a cunner. It's a cunner. It's a big one. That's a good cunner. Holy cow! It's a personal best. They're down there too. Look at the size of that. Holy man. <laughs> Look at the teeth on them. Yeah, they got choppers, don't they? Yeah. That's a personal best for me. Holy cow. Okay, that was a good release, Antonio. Gonna give another cast. So I'm, I'm just running the, the flexi jig with a shad bait on there. And I've got a teaser T on the top as an extra attractor. And a lot of times, a lot of times you'll get them on the teaser as opposed to even the jig. But basically, like I say, we're fishing 60 feet, 
getting our lines right down there on the bottom and then just bouncing off the bottom. But with the sting nose, with Lisa and Antonio, they're dropping the sting nose to the bottom, lifting it up six inches, and then jigging it up and let it go back down. Cod are on the bottom, that's where you gotta be. And uh, hopefully we'll get into a few more fish. Lisa just caught a pollock, a small one. And I said, okay, I'm gonna grab my sting nose and Antonio, and now we're both on. It could be more pollock down there. Mine's a mackerel. Yours not, a mackerel? Not a pollock. Mine. What do you got? Double I got pollock. two pollock. Two pollock. Right there. Actually, those are good eating uh, fish. A lot of people, I don't know, they, they don't keep them, but oh, nice, Lisa, you're on. But they are actually good eating fish. And the pollock will hang out where the where the cod are as well. And the key is just fishing the bottom. This one's got all three trebles in them. And you got a pollock. Pollock. Oh, this one has got all three trebles. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, the cod and the pollock like to hang out together. But the pollock get a lot bigger. These are small ones, but you know what? Those are gonna fry up and be very, very tasty. Very tasty. That could be another Pollock. Actually, he's starting to fight now. You want to tell you, you got one too? Yeah, I do. Unbelievable. Todd and Pollock. They hang out together. Here's a mackerel. Is. Mine look, oh, I got three. Okay. No, ma no Pollock, but three mackerel. I got a Pollock. You got a Pollock. Okay, we got everything down there today. <laughs> Mackerel, pollock, cod. What a day we're having. Okay, get these guys off quickly. I want to get my line back down there again. Boy, this is really something, folks. Oh. Saltwater fishing at its best. Oh, they're right in there. One's bleeding like a sieve. Okay. Need a hand, Lisa? Okay. It's a nice pollock. There we go. All right. I'm going to stick with this sting nose and see if there's more pollock down there. Now, if you've got a fish finder, it's really handy to see because you could, you could tell where the fish are if you mark fish on the bottom. And for the cod and the pollock, they like a hard bottom. So if you can find yourself a hard bottom, you can fish that area, especially if there's some structure where it's changing depths. Because I know out in front of us is 70 feet. So we got a little bit of changing depth here. And, and obviously there's some fish holding, uh, holding on this. Uh, I guess it's a bit of a shoal. You got one, Lisa? I got one. Let's hope if it's a small one. Oh, I just missed one. Be nice to be another Pollock. Oh, I just missed one. And you got the mackerel. mackerel. So there's mackerel mixed in down there. Usually the mackerel are suspended. We were out here getting mackerel suspended, but looks like they're also on the bottom. Again. I got something on my drop. You got him on the drop down, Lisa? <laughs> yeah. Could be another mackerel. Did he hit it on the way down? Yeah, it's definitely mackerel. Yeah. If they don't let it get to the bottom, they're mackerel. <laughs> I heard a hook set. Oh, I just missed one too. Feels pollocky. Very small. It's a mackerel. I got wow. something too. Yeah? Yeah, I got something too. Let's 
hope it's a pollock. Well, that's okay if it's a mackerel too. But where'd those cod go? Can't get to the bottom. <laughs> you can't get to the bottom. Well, this one came on the bottom. It looks like another mackerel. Okay. I got something. <laughs> I saw that, at least. Oh, so do I. Oh, I got a good one too. Mine feels really Oh, small. I got something strong. Ooh. I got something strong. Oh. You got a pollock. I think I got a cod. I don't know, I got something decent. But what we did, folks, we finished that first drift, as you saw. We got cod, and then we moved in, then we started catching pollock, then we started catching mackerel. So there was a theme there. So I said, you know what, let's go back up and do another drift. I don't know if this is a cod or not, but if it is, my theory might be true. And I think it is a cod on the sting nose. Yep. Nice. Yes, sir. Looks like a walleye in the water there, eh? Ooh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Look at these cod. Aren't they gorgeous? They're beautiful fish. I love fishing for cod. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Just came off too. Perfect. Okay, let's get him out. Uh, there we go. That's a nice... Nice size cod right there. They're all nice. Okay, let's get him back in. Oh, what a day we're having out here, folks. Oh, look what he coughed up. Look at that. Look at that. So that's why that uh, jigging spoon is working, and that's why that shad is working. But that's the theory. We're getting cod, pollock, and mackerel. So we're gonna keep drifting. I think we're gonna do, run this drift throughout the, throughout the rest of the day. We're having a great time out here. If you get an opportunity, light tackle fishing for cod so much fun very rewarding tasty fish if you like to eat fish great eating and come on out here to the cape cod area it's a gorgeous area on your off time you could uh oh antonio's into something on the off time you could do some shopping and sightseeing it's a great spot folks i want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of thunderous fishing tips and as always until next time good luck and good fishing I don't know what it is. It looks like cod. There we go, the theory comes true. Cod, pollock, mackerel. Beautiful.